because we might be able to do a little Zen Ki Yoga for the trunk. You know, in the awakening the chi, there is a slight S-shaped movement throughout the body, body wave. You might already know it. There is a whole um, sequence of yoga, moving yoga exercises, and we can perform two of them, two or three. Yes, there are three to get your trunk a little bit more relaxed and moving. The easiest way to, to get going is to just remember a straightened spine. How does it feel to have an easy erected spine? And just lean forward. And as you know, without any strain, relaxed. Just keep the remembrance of an elongated spine to the front as you like. No strain, easy, easy. Just forward and up. And of course no, no bending of your head. That's very important. That's something some yoga practitioners Coming up with a head that's not good for, for your neck. You might even elongate a little bit in the downside and coming up. And as I said, most important, feel your body. That's more important than the outer looks and outer form, always. Always the first thing is come to yourself and to your bodily feelings and emotions also. So that's the first movement, if you like. Yeah. I've got something in my back pocket. Well, that's a good example. Normally, <laughs> the apprentice has to take all unnecessary stuff from him or her. Ah, that's better. Try to breathe freely, breathing exercise, bottle breath. With your exhale coming to the front. And up. It's very good to collecting yourself. Forgetting about the past. And don't get involved in the future. Just be here and feel your body. Just to the front. And sometimes you f can feel stiffness and so forth. Be kind, mindful and calm with yourself. Easy. Normally we are performing this for at least three minutes, but that's a rush. <laughs> So that's one, one form, if you like, just this bending forward. And the next is just do a little uh, hip movement, swing, hip swing. Take your fingers to feel your upper hip and your lower hip bone and just coming with the upper part to the front and with the upper part to the back. Also easy, easy. Just to feel 
Are you able to move your hip bone forwards, backwards? What is happening within your body? Also, at least three minutes, even longer, because it's good to inhale, coming to the front, open up a little bit your chest while inhaling, coming a little bit to rounded back with your upper hip to the back and so forth. Easy, easy. And then we are already six minutes with this imaginative six minutes with this sequence and then combine those two going down while bending your back a little bit and now don't bend your neck but come up a little bit bending in an S shape with your spine and coming back to the straightened back a little bit down and to the front and this the S, ang S shape of your spine elongated then C shape C shape to the front elongate S shape this is a reverse C if you like without bending your neck keep it straight and coming to the front and inhaling elongate coming up elongate and so forth that's our normal ordinary beginning time and that's a very good sequence to get your uh, trunk more loosened, more relaxed. Something we are not uh, able to do in this intensity while doing our Qigong, you know. But this, this is already within awakening the Qi. So, something I have seen a lot with practitioners you know there are maybe lost things in transmission when you are performing the awakening the chi there's already this just within stri straightened back no movement at all but just the hands up and down and as I know, the Chinese transmission from the masters to the apprentice is uh, without any talking. And the master doesn't need any rough movements at all. So he is, he is moving his hands, in an, uh, his uh, wrists in a in an circle and moving his whole body but the apprentice can see it because it's very subtle and in the beginning you have to do a very rough movement to feel everything in your body and when you are learning from a very good master you won't see it from the outside and when the master isn't talking anything the transmission is reduced to something stupid <laughs> And that's what we are finding here in Europe and Americas and so forth with very much forms and many forms, many forms. And when you are coming for yourself to, uh, to your bodily feelings and uh, you are performing this and you are questioning this, you can build together what was in the beginning the form. Well, what's the substan substance of this? And then we have to redevelop what is really to be done in the beginning and so forth. There's also something like this in yoga. 
So the main goal for you and me, for us all, is to get more used to your bodily feelings. That's our goal. And take the RAIN principle, principle and of course you have to be a practitioner of meditation because you have to know yourself's monkey mind. Because this, is, this monkey mind is just jumping around. You have to come to a stage of wisdom. And wisdom is very subtle. You have to train it, you have to learn it. 